That's why I'm surprised I didn't have because I got that big pine tree and I see roots in the yard. Mm -hmm. They scoped it out a year ago. So that, that was, was, that was going to be on the start of the board They just couldn't get cleaned up. They dug her up and they saw her jump out of it. Just saw it. businesses to really inform the businesses what all they are doing and I'm not going to go into great detail but if you go up I-70 there's four new billboards they have come out with a new visitor guide it's very well done and if you, you can pick one up in the hallway when you leave if you would like to get one I just wanted to give them a shout out because uh, it's not just Tammy it's, it's the whole crew and again the tourism Commission is a volunteer just like the park board and everything else. That's one great thing about Herman is the people that dedicate their time to make things good here. So I just wanted, I just wanted to recognize them. But you know, also on that, on the same note, you know, Herman is really blessed. Not just with the tourism department, with our police officers, with our dispatchers, the ladies in the office, all our departments, the city, crews, the street crews, the, the water, the gas, the electric. Hopefully I won't miss anybody. But, uh, you know, if you see the guys out working in the ditches and that and you're close by, it doesn't hurt to stop by and say thank you. You know, a lot of, a lot of times they don't get the recognition and they're the ones that keep our city running. And I'm sure the other thing that's on most people's mind is through this cold session that we've just had is what the heck's going to happen because of the gas. So what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to have uh, City Administrator Mark try and explain to the best of his ability of, of what the situation is at this point. So Mark, if you would take over. Sure. I wish to bring everyone up to date on the recent uncalled for and illegal raising of natural gas prices caused by the polar vortex in mid-February. Traders of natural gas saw an opportunity to gouge cities all across the Midwest because of the extreme cold that reached far down in the south and stayed for an extended time and they seized the opportunity. According to our gas marketing company, this was nothing more than greed. And here's how that affected the city. Our normal gas bill for the city of Herman for February would be around $115,000 to $120,000. It's all contingent upon the weather. This year's February's bill came in at $674,753.58, roughly an increase of $550,000. If the city billed each of the 1,025 gas customers to recoup this money, each gas customer would be billed an additional $536 for this month's gas. The city of Herman has no choice at this time other than to pay this outrageous gas bill. The city leaders here and around the Midwest have contacted state and federal representatives to, number one, investigate this ridiculous price gouging, and second, to see if there are funds available to help pay these bills. 
We do not know if and when this will take place. Until then, the city has the funds in reserve to pay for the gas. If we get funds released by the state to help the cost of this, that is great. We can replenish our reserve. But I do not want to pass this cost on until we know how this will all end. If we do not get funds, it will be up to the Board of Aldermen to decide the process in which we want to recoup the money. Right now, it's my recommendation that the City of Vermont temporarily absorb this increase and not pass it on to our gas customers. We have time to see how this plays out. Thank you so much. Also, one other on a different yes. topic. It's time to consider raises for the staff. At last year's uh, budget process, uh, we held off on it because of the uncertainty of how the pandemic would affect our sales tax. Uh, as we consider new, uh, the increase now, expenses are down 2%, and sales tax exceeded last year's total. It's my recommendation that the employees receive an increase of at least 2%. Received the $17,000 in CARES Act funds for payroll reimbursement. Did you hear everybody hear that? Which is more than enough to cover uh, 2%. Okay. Thank you. Mr. Mayor, may I add one thing to his report, please? Sure. Uh, several years ago, when I became an alderman, there was a push on by some members of our community to get rid of our utilities. Most notably, the electric, but the gas and the water were also going to go. Uh, their reasoning was faulty. The information they used to come to their conclusions was misleading and at many times incredibly false. Once we realized what was happening, uh, we put our foot down and said no. The current mayor and I were both on the board of aldermen at that time and with some information supplied by Dr. Corber over here before he became mayor, we finally put an end to that nonsense. I want everybody to understand just how important that decision is right now. When we kept our utilities, we started modernizing them. We brought our rate structure to where it was supposed to be. Unlike everybody was saying, it was not too expensive. We started building up our reserves. We modernized our equipment. We made it more efficient. If all of those things had not happened, right now the citizens of this town would be getting that bill that we're trying to find a way so they don't have to pay. I just want to make that very clear how lucky we are to have retained control of our utilities. And the situ we, nobody could have foreseen this particular situation, but God bless us, we can do it now. I mean, we have some control over this, so I just want to make sure everybody understands that. Thank you. Okay, public comments. We have one, I believe, right? Oh, I'm sorry, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Mike Sloan. <laughs> I saw him lay a card up. <laughs> you, you have the floor, sir. I just wanted to, uh, maybe not now, but I wanted to comment, or, or it's a maybe, I think, when I put that. It's a maybe. It's a maybe with the question mark. But I'm, I'm here, I'm interested in the bill number 202109. So I don't have any comments right now, but I, I'd like to be, you know, maybe comment at a later point. We're discussing? Yeah. Okay. Thank you. All right. We will move on to ordinances. All right. <clears throat> first, uh, on for first reading is bill number 2021-08. It would be an ordinance to approve and authorize the execution of an assignment and assumption of business lease agreement. And that uh, proposed assignment and assumption of business lease is attached and essentially we are just changing some parties here uh, where K Ray Development and the Weinberger Trust uh, and Kevin Meyer are being replaced uh, in this agreement with Casey's Marketing Company. So it's more or less a formality. Anybody have any question? I move Bill 2021 0 for approval. I have a second. I'll second. Motion made and second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? So carried. We do need to read that a second time. Is it time measured? Bill number 2021-08 for second reading. An ordinance to approve and authorize the execution of an assignment and assumption of business lease. I have a motion to approve second. I move approve bill number 2021-08. Second. 
Second. Motion's been made and seconded. All in favor, aye. Aye. Any opposed? Also carried. <clears throat> Next is bill number 2021-09, an ordinance to amend Herman Municipal Code section 410.080D to eliminate the permit requirement for sandwich board signs in the historic overlay district and to ensure ADA compliance for sandwich board signs are used. Any discussion from up here? I do have something I noticed as I read the ordinance. In, uh, under section one, letter D, number four, I find that to be a little confusing where it says, and within six feet of the building. Uh, the city administrator did some measuring on Schiller Street today of the sidewalk. And what did you find, Mark? It varied five, six, 10, 11 feet. There was no uniform uh, sidewalk width. What I'm getting at is, if we have sections that's only six foot, that would put the sign all the way out to the edge of the curb within the ADA passage. Same thing with five foot. I think if we just leave number four, the sign shall be located on the same lot of the building of the business. Leave out and within six foot of the building. And it does say the placement of the sign shall allow for the sidewalk width required by the ADA already so yeah. but if we put that six foot in there it, to me that makes it complicated so just take out the six foot take just take the six foot out because because of the different sizes of yes yeah, sometimes, sometimes it's just impossible to do you it. Know, on first street we have a 12 foot wide uniform shiver street it varies from five foot to six foot makes if, sense to me if they're in a 10 foot you come out six foot from the building it would reduce our ADA. Is that agreeable with everyone? It is with me. Is it okay legally? <clears throat> okay. I, I suspect the reason that was put in there is because you might have some businesses that are on lots where the building doesn't abut up against the sidewalk, where it's set back quite a ways, or where the building is relatively small compared to the lot, and you've got a lot of room, and the city wasn't wanting those businesses who are even close to the street to take their sandwich board sign and set it way out by the street. Well, if it's sitting in front of their, on their property or in front of their business, so I can't see a problem. If that's okay, I can take that out. Okay. okay. I move Bill 2021-09 approved with the changes that Alderman Sherman suggested. Hang, hang on one second. Okay. Mike had asked if you oh, could I'm ask sorry. a question. Okay, Mike. Thank you. Thank you. So my only thought process in this is if these ordinances are made to protect the city and at the same time it protects the businesses and the citizens. So my thought process is this, if the board would consider, you know, when you're in violation, you're going to get a letter. When you're in compliance, it works the same way. So is it possible that you would consider issuing a letter to those businesses that are in compliance? Because it is made to work both ways. And so that's what I would consider you to, to look at, is if a business or, or an entity is complying with this, they get the same type of letter so that there's no false falsification of process. Everybody gets the same thing? Well, you know, if, 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 if a business is not in compliance, they're going to get a visit. Mm -hmm by somebody. And if we were to have a letter that says on the other side the same same thing, it protects the city, protects us too. It works both ways. So I would ask you to consider to have a letter that would say we are in this particular business is compliance. So it protects both sides. So there's no falsification of problems. I understand what you're saying. I guess the only problem I have with that, we issue the letter and you're in compliance, and then the next month, if you want to, <laughs> then you're not in compliance. You know, it's just a lot of extra paperwork. Well, you can do it every day. You're, 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 you you're exactly right. And out of compliance. So, I mean, that, that, that's the problem I see yeah. with, with doing that. I mean, but in the same way, they could be non compliant one day, and then the next day they'll be compliant. 
Uh, so again, you protects both sides. That have sandwich boards, so you have a list of who has them, so, so you would know if they were compliant. No, we're getting, this is we're, getting rid of. Won't be a, it won't be a permit. Mm -hmm. huh? The only so, thing that we're requiring is that every business can have one, and that if it's out on the sidewalk, it cannot be, they have to leave five foot passage ADA. That's the only thing they have to worry about being, you know, and then the compliance are the things right here about the size and the materials. Yeah. And then the ADA. I would think the only reason that anyone would get in trouble once this permit part is taken out is the size of it. If somebody has one, that's. But well, they're made pretty much all the same. So well, I know, but I'm just saying that's. I'm, I'm just telling you how I, what I see or think, could be a problem. Yeah, like Rick said last time, you know, the homemade type of sign. Yeah, you know, I, so I, you know, I, I appreciate where you're going, but I don't really think, and plus that just puts more more work on the girls in the office with it. Does. <laughs> it does. It does. I think it does. I don't think I'm going to tell them to do that. No, the code enforcement <laughs> officer did send a letter out a couple weeks ago to all businesses on First Schiller and Market designating that, you know, the sign should not impede traffic. Maybe to help what Mike's saying there is, once this is passed, we could send a copy of the ordinance to all the businesses and then they know but to, to send out each one every time, and you know, like I said, somebody go out and put the sign, you're right, then you had a pedestrian slide that over two foot, and now all and of that, a sudden. And that happens all the time. Yep. Yeah. But that way, if we got this proved, anybody that's in that area get a copy of the ordinance so they're aware of it, and then if they're in violation, then we'll have uh, code enforcement or uh, city police department contact those people, advise them they're in violation, give them a verbal warning or a written, mm -hmm. and then if they continue, well, then the city has no other choice. Mm -hmm. Okay. Would that be yeah. fair? Thank you. Thank you for your input. Thanks, Mike. Just for what it's worth in terms of legal options, I think the city can take the sign and say, come and get it. And we're going to keep doing it until you're in compliance. I think that's in I mean, otherwise, we're work. doing summons and letters and all these right. things. Because right. so, okay. it's going to be on city property. Right. Okay, we have a motion on the floor. Thank you. I have a second. I'll second, please. Motion to be made in the second. All in favor, say aye. Aye. Any aye. opposed? Aye. So carried. We'll move on to resolution. So there's a resolution on for tonight, and uh, my apologies to Charles Baumstark. I, my, my assignment was to uh, do an amendment to this business lease for the, the parking lot there and, and replace a Charles with Danny, and I made the wrong assumption that Charles was deceased, and that's why we were doing it. So if, I, I would uh, respectfully ask that you let me easy. amend this for the next meeting, and we'll get it right. Does he, does he uh, is there a time element on this too, do you know? Um, yeah, I think he is in a hurry for it. Well, I wouldn't, I would ask him to call me maybe, is it Danny you're talking to? Or, yes. Danny? Because the lease is with uh, Herman Lumber Company, Inc., the corporation. And then on the prior lease, Charles was also a signing party to the lease. Uh, in my opinion, there really is no need to have Charles or Danny individually on the lease at all. We've already got, I mean, Herman Lumber Company, Inc. is, is the entity that we're allowing to use the parking lot. I okay. suspect that the city got them individually initially, as lawyers tend to do when they're doing leases, to get them personally on the hook for any rent or, or liabilities in addition to their corporation. So not only do I not think it's a timing issue, I don't, really don't think it's necessary for them to be on it at all, but we'll, I'm happy to do it that way if they want. Okay, so it only works out better for us. We'll have Mr. Bob start contacting him. Yeah. If, you know, if needed, you. otherwise we'll do it next week. Okay, that's fine. Would Charlie call you? Or? <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> okay, uh, we'll move on to old business. Anyone have old business? Okay, no old business, we'll move to new business. If uh, under new business, we'll bring up the pay raise thing. If you'd like, I made my recommendation. 
Okay. Uh, normally the pay raise when we do this is, is done in our budget time, so being the, the, the way this year has turned out, we told the employees we didn't know if we could give a pay raise, so it was not done in the budget, and uh, they've been very, uh, very patient with us, and now things are are in good enough condition that uh, I think we can go with the recommendation of, recommendation of the 2%, but we need to uh, do it I'll this way you. instead of our normal way. I would make a motion to go with the city administrator's recommendation on the papers. I have a motion. Do I have a second? No, second. Motion to make a second. All in favor say aye. Aye. Any opposed? So carried. Thank you. Is there any other new business? Just a, a question concerning the uh, uh, the gas, the, the utility. Is is there? How is that going to be determined? How that's going to be resolved? And well, are we going to be getting together? Or is there? Well, that'll be over a period of time because it, it's all going to go end up going in litigation. I'm sure with I'll the attorney to... general and upward and whoever gets involved with with that. Uh, I can tell you that I'll know more after Wednesday if we're going to talk to Ron Reagan from Utility Gas uh, Management. Hopefully he'll have some insight, but uh, somehow we need to recoup that money because that's how the gas company operates. We've got some big projects that we may have to uh, postpone, but uh, we need to recoup that somehow. And it can be over a number of years. It can be built into the rate, it can be built in it as a surcharge, however we want for you want to uh, get it back. We just couldn't gouge the public on that kind of a one month bill. So how will that be reflected in the next billing? Because the next the next billing is the one that's going to be... There will be nothing right. reflected from yeah. it. Yeah, we're so the next just, billing. What we're going to do is we're going to bill a normal uh, February this time right. until this kind of works its way out and then we'll see how we want to recoup that. The, the February bills are going to be high anyway because the billing starts the 10th and that's when it was super cold. So, right. so yeah. it's the baseline, like 120,000, what the average is, something like this, and just use that as a baseline? Yes, sir. Okay. Mayor Cox, if I may. <clears throat> yes, sir. According to our gas supplier, the states of Kansas and Indiana and Illinois have already stepped up to the plate to help their municipalities and electric consumers by providing grants and money to help replenish the, the city's funds. And Missouri has not, and the governor's office and Congress are kicking the ball back and forth among each other as to whose responsibility it is to get that done. But our neighboring states, even Illinois, the government found a way to, uh, to get it done, and we can't, and I think that's kind of embarrassing for our public officials, frankly. So contact your senators and representatives and, and, and the governor's office. Can't hurt. I just happen to have those numbers. And Mr. Griesheimer was on it. You know, he, he emailed right away to the governor's office and they emailed right back basically saying no. So. Well, at this time, uh, 47 state reps have, uh, are pushing the attorney general to immediately file an investigation into this. These crooks can't hide on this one. I mean, they did it to too many people. That's an investigation into the gas company. That's not the state help. Yeah, I know. Help us get relief. Every bit of pressure helps. Right. Okay. Anything else under new? <clears throat> Excuse me, under new business? We'll move on to motions. We have a motion to approve the minutes. I'll move to approve the minutes. Motion's been made. Do I have a second? A uh, second. Motion's made and second. All in favor, aye. Aye. Any opposed? Okay. Invoices for payment. Will we pay the bill? I have a motion to pay the bills. I'll second. I have a second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Pay the bill. Item C, conditional use permit renewals for unoccupied guest house. Can you, you want me to read all these? <laughs> uh, yes. Okay. Uh, at least their names. Timothy Cahill, Round Here, French Hill, on East 2nd, Greg and Don Lippert, Helmig House, 112 Westford, Bart and Chris Todeman, Tatum Inn, Parkview Guest House, 12221 Washington, 
Don Borgman, Greystone Guest House, 202 West 6, Steve Vollmer, the Florian Stone Cottage, 214 West 4, Arminius Holdings, the Florian Brick Cottage, 218 West 4, Arminius Holdings, the Florian Bicentennial Inn, 223 West 4, Tom and Kathy Durham, Black Oak Inn, 129 West 3rd, Alex and Amanda Stimmy, Klinger Mansion, 108 East 2nd, Jim Holland, Mon Willer Inn, 409 Washington. Yes, and the spreadsheet um, on the front of your packet there um, <coughs> is showing that they've all, they're have all they all compliant um, and up to date with all of their um, taxes, licenses, um, and, and inspections. And the ones that are required to have manager's contracts um, have submitted those as well. Very good. So everybody is good to go. Move to approve. Motion to approve. Do I have a second? I'll second. Motion to be made and second. I'll ever say aye. 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 Any opposed? So carried. Item D is the conditional, conditional use permit renewals for outdoor liquor consumption for firm Wade Dilling Company on Schiller Street and Tenure Restaurant, 315 East First Street. I see no major problems. I'll move to approve. Motion been made to approve. Do I have a second? I'll second. Motion is made and second. All in favor say aye. 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 So okay. We have a municipal, I can't talk, municipal corporation quick claim deed for Dalton Eicherman, Lot 6, Lot 8, West 4th Street. This is just another one of those. They want to make sure we don't know anything. Make a motion to approve. Second. We have a motion made and second. All in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? So carried. I think you missed one. I missed one? Ten no. I, I did them together. Oh, okay, okay. Thank you. I'm sorry. Okay, uh, next item is Mediacom lease terms and rent. Any questions on that? Is it rent? Is that for our... Hook up for the video or? Um, this is the, the ground room tower. Oh, uh, what is it? Fifth Street Hill is up there on the left. They've got their uh, tower or whatever sitting out there. I'm assuming that's what this is. Okay, <clears throat> okay do I have a motion to approve that? So mm -hmm. moved. I'll second. Motion made and second. All in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Uh, next, we have records of destruction in accordance with the state retention schedule. <coughs> Need a motion to let them destroy the record. Move to approve. Second. Motion is made and second. All in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? So move. We need to go into a closed session that will include a regular meeting. I move we adjourn open session and go in closed session for the purpose of dealing with matters relating to hiring, firing, disciplinary, promoting employees pursuant to state statutes. I have a motion. Do I have a second? I'll second. Okay, we need a roll call. Aye. 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 So moved. 